Hi everybody! I know I often say oh, let's make a quick video about the simple effect and then I usually end up talking about it for over 20 minutes. But this time I hope I finally managed to make a shorter video because today's effect is really easy as you can see in the background. Let's get started. So this time I will apply a shader to an image. So instead of the usual color rect, I will create a scene into which I'll drag the mentioned image, which will create a sprite 2D node like this. Right click, uh, create a new scene, let's call it sand and create. And now, as I said, let me find the image. I think it is this screenshot I already used several times before. Let's click it and fix the usual stuff position to zero zero and in offset disable centered now is perfect great and of course we need to add a new material as a shader material click it and create a new shader which can call scent <coughs> and i will put it just to the shaders uh, shaders folder and create and click to open in the editor so as usual i will get rid of the lines we don't need there vertex and white okay let me start with a static effect to explain how it actually works then we will add animation and finally a script to control everything so first i'll write the code then i'll explain it we have the function fragment and let's do this back to uv is the internal uv coordinates of the pixel now we need to define the threshold let's call it t and give it for example 0.5 value and this is the trick if uvy uh, uvy is less than this threshold let's set the coordinate to the threshold and finally color is taken from the texture function of this current texture and UV coordinates. Wait for it. Okay, let me show the full image. <clears throat> so, what actually happened? If the y coordinate, y coordinate of the current pixel is less than the set threshold, in our case, uh, half wave up the image, then we use the color of the pixel determined by this threshold and it's uh, half it, it actually corresponds to the value 0.5 because as we know uv coordinates start at 0, 0 top left corner and end as 1 1 in bottom right so everything above this threshold is displayed as a line in the corresponding color we can try changing this value and observe the results so for example let's make it 0.2 okay it's here at the top if i change it to 0.8 it should be somewhere down there great let's get back to 0.5 <clears throat> all right so how do we create the sand pouring animation first we'll define the length of the animation in seconds and we'll do this as a uniform parameter so uniform float duration with a hint range from 1 to let's say 10 and we should start with 10 seconds and now we'll use the duration value to calculate the current threshold we'll achieve this by making the effect repeat periodically which we'll achieve with the fract function that returns the fractional part of a given number always something between 0 and 1 so I'll subtract the result from 1 to get the animation moving from bottom to top correctly. Here, instead of constant 0.5, I'll do the subtracting for 1 as I said. And fractional part of the current time value divided by duration. Wait for it. There we go. Excellent. 
I guess we are done. But what if you wanted to have more control over the animation and control it from GD script? Such a script will be very simple and I'll create it right away. But first I'll add another uniform parameter to control the state of the effect. That would be uniform uh, float. Let's call it send state uh, with the hint range from 0 to 1, which is correct, and point 0 0.01 as the step. And let's start at 0. OK, and we'll use this value in the fragment function. Instead of this, we'll just use send state. OK, here it is. If I open the shader parameters and move that, it works. Perfect. Now everything is black because, because the default value is set to zero. So it's time to create the script, which I'll add to the root node of our scene. Right here, click create new send GD script, create. And what do we need now? We need a reference to the to the sprite 2D, so I'll drag it there with, while holding the control key to create this on ready declaration and we will need our send state that starts at zero and of course the duration that starts at 10 just like in the in the shader code uh, we don't need the ready function, let's delete it and as for the process function it's actually very easy. All we have to do is to increase the send state by the delta value in every frame. And of course, if send state uh, gets greater than one, we there is no point to continue, so we just send it to one. All right, and finally, to pass the parameter to the to the shader, we need to get the material of this uh, sprite 2D and call set sh ah, sorry sh <laughs> shader parameter which is called send state and the value is send state and basically that's it Let's try to run this scene and observe. That was pretty pretty fast, wasn't it? I must have forgot something. Yes, of course. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I forgot to divide by the duration. So it was just only one second. Now we should be at 10 seconds. Let's try it again. Yes, great. Everything is working as expected. And that's all. And the video duration is less than 10 minutes, which is great. So we can easily modify the code if, for example, we wanted to the send to pour in the opposite direction or from the side. Similarly, we could trigger the entire effect after some predefined action, like a mouse click, but I won't delve into these details this time because I promised the video would be short. I highly recommend watching the simple transition shader video, which would be displayed now, where I discuss the issue, the issue in more detail. For now, take care and see you in the next video.